All right, guys, we're playing Briar top lane on today's video. We're playing Briar versus a uh, Cassante top lane. And for the runes, we have a Conquer, Triumph, Alacrity, Lassent. We specifically have Bone Plating here and then also Overgrowth for the scaling. Now, this game, we're back with the legendary Briar top lane. Uh, top lane then. Always fun and exciting. If you're going for um, like the on hit build, or something that makes you tanky and gives you a ton of attack speed, you can actually go into Stride Breaker now. Just like season, like back in season 13, you've done the exact same thing. I'll show you this game. I'll show you. So it used to be Blade, which, you know, Blade of the Rune King still works in this matchup. I would definitely advise, like, if you want to, you can build it. But I want to showcase you guys the Stride Breaker version. Maybe Blade and Stride Breaker, actually. Just so we can shut them down. I'll show you. But yeah, like, it, it, I feel like literally all, always, man, when I play Briar top lane, I feel like I'm playing Master Yi, but then, like, sort of like an early game Master Yi, kind of. Hmm. Nice. We're healing back from E, so it's, it's okay if you miss it. That doesn't really matter too much. We have a Warwick coming top lane. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't know, man. Briar is very fun if it comes down to all inning. And let's go back here. Nice. He's not going to freeze, right? Yeah, he's not going to freeze away. Okay, cool. So, the first thing that we're going to be building is going to be a Shrive Breaker. I was actually thinking, like, hey, what if we just go Blade instantly, right? But, um... That just doesn't seem very optimal to me, if that makes sense. Um, Blade of Throne King is really nice because it definitely counters Cassente because uh, th this item just shuts him down. No matter how tanky he gets, it will always do it. But the disadvantage of this item early in the game is that if you're all in with Briar and it comes down to a full all in where he pops his combo too, I'm going to get very low HP. So if I go into Strike Breaker on these. Be tanky, have damage, have attack speed, and also have a slow. So it's actually a more optimal build. Definitely. Just the, just the item path is kind of kind of a joke, but I don't really like the item path specifically if if you play a champ like Briar. But it, as as when you finish the item, it completely changes everything. I'll show you. Again, we're not going to be. Um, we're not going to be trading him right now. We're just going to let him push into me. We're chilling. I think I'm going to place a ward down so I can see what he's actually doing. Still not getting it. <laughs> okay. We're getting most of them. I'm just focusing on the last hits because if I go for W, I'm going to mess up the entire wave using my E after. It's not an optimal uh, optimal idea. We do have a Warwick coming top again. He's in a perfect position, I would say. Goodbye, buddy. <laughs> We're kicking him straight up into the tower. <laughs> Let's go, man. Genius. Push it out completely. There you go. I love the auto resets on Briar too. Like, if you want more damage on Briar, like, auto attack resets is the way to do it. Like, if you're not, uh, if you're not canceling the autos, you're actually missing out on so much damage, man. I, I'm not, I'm not actually over exaggerating here. Uh, let's go into let's go into Tiamat just to make things better. So if you're if you wonder like what are you talking about, right? So if you're playing Briar and you auto and then W after, you can actually uh, use the auto from W immediately after. And if you auto through a normal auto attack or just through W, 
doesn't matter you can actually follow up with a q afterwards and auto again so it just adds up so much damage if you do the combo correctly in the early game like of course in the mid late game it doesn't matter anymore but in the early game it it makes up a big difference man trust me on that he's going bramble immediately so he's countering my uh he's countering my healing oh this is going to be bad for me I'll walk away from it. So, Cassente's early game is still better than mine. Because if he hits the ultimate, he's actually just going to be stronger than me. But again, it's only temporarily. We will outscale him very hard. Believe me on that. My farm is also not the cleanest, but... <laughs> like, honestly, farming perfectly with Briar is one of the hardest things in the league. Because your W will always mess it up. <laughs> Trust me. That's the only thing to be aware of when you're playing Briar, like... Farming is more difficult on this champ than any other champ. Easily. Unless you're snowballing the, the lane, it's, it's very different. So I want to go for a combo, but I'm pretty sure he's going to pop in the... His own W. So, we need, like, we still have a lot of farm. I'll just be keeping him this position. I wish I could, like, knock him into my tower. That would be clean. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna force me no matter what. He's trying to. Yeah, we we need to find out a way to reset soon. The thing is that we have to. I'm just going to ping top lane for a gank. Um, we have Cassente in a very very good position at the moment, where if we get another gank, we just kill him again. He's very very overextended at the moment, and I don't think he knows where my jungler is at at the moment. Oh. No way. Oh, you joking me? You serious? <laughs> so right when Warwick... Okay, so that's why he was actually overextending. There was a Lee Sin uh, coming top lane. That makes a lot of sense, actually. That makes a lot of sense. I wish I could have popped my combo out, because my W actually heals me, too. Oh, whatever, I guess. I wonder if I can hit him. Yeah. <laughs> No way. Of course, there there has to be the the Cassante used teleport, bro. He used teleport. Oh, that's so disappointing, dude. That's a joke. Yeah, I I did not know beforehand he was gonna like be there so quickly. Like I actually thought I had a good jump. He was bad, man. I'm getting I'm getting wrecked at the moment by Lee. It's pretty bad. Maybe uh, maybe Warwick can hold it. Hmm. Maybe we'll overextend for the for the plates. Maybe. Ooh. If my jungler can hold it, that would be appreciated. Yes. All right. This this is actually pretty good. Not getting that one. My farm is the worst it can ever be, man. It, like, everything messed, messed up so badly after Lee came. Seems like he's top lane again. I'll just shove this out. There you go. I think Lee is still top lane. I don't think that's uh, really changed. There you go. Yeah, we're we're definitely losing that no matter what, like unless it's three versus two. I'm gonna keep my E. There you go. Yeah, I'm going back top lane. 
that's not bad actually man we are we're actually starting to progress through the hardest part in, of the game in my opinion this is actually really nice for me i'm gonna i'm gonna be pushing this out because his uh, teleport is actually out he used it before of course i got to lose the most important one and this is part of it okay so we uh we now have strike breaker and we can actually start building now into the next item, which is actually going to be Recurve Bow. There you go. And also Tier 1 Boots. And that's actually, let's make it back now. Now we have a choice to make. We can uh, we can decide to go into uh, two items. We can go into Blade, which is really nice. But we can also go into Black Lever. And Black Lever is a perfect item in this scenario because it actually adds up to my hp it also gives me ability haste for using uh, my combo slightly faster but more importantly like it actually adds on my autos so if he gets like extremely tanky i can just shred him like no problem there i think that leaves back top lane let's knock him away this guy is super tanky, man. He's got like steel caps, warden's mail, brambles vest. That's a lot of items right there. Hmm. When people talk about is that Lisa Bobble? Nice. Body an Let's knock him away. I've got some points in my queue, but. I'm actually going to start putting points in my E as well. Yeah, I got him. I still got my ultimate too. I actually want to start putting some points in my E here so I can make them more effective. So I think I might probably end up doing that now. I think it would be great. Let's get some of the plates here before it truly expires. Yeah, you can see like we are actually outscaling the Cassante right now. We finally reached that point. You know, of course, including getting plates here. Always, always good. I think I might push this part of the wave too. Yeah, I'm actually going to do that. There you go. Look at the wave there too. Like it's it's been dramatically improved ever since then. Very nice. Let's go into the next item, which will be a Black Lever. So forget about the Blade of the Rune King. We're just going to go into Black Lever so that like we can shut them down. Also get extremely, extremely tanky along with it. Again, we're still playing the scaling game. The more we, the more we progress to the late game, the much more difficult we are to kill. Because eventually we're going to be like 4,000 HP. Seems like they're rotating to mid. I'm just gonna shove this out too. Nice. Wish I could be there though. But take this too. Okay. I don't think I can. I don't want to press my R and be out of luck. I'm gonna put more points in my Q so I can lower it a little bit more. So we'll be back with this. That's gonna push back in. Pretty good. I'm not gonna be interested in fighting him at the moment. I'll take this too. Nice. Yeah, I'm actually kind of ready for a fight. That's uh, we're gonna get into a fight no matter what. Hmm. Don't necessarily want to all in with Lee Sin being around. Yeah, that's what I expected. Wait a second, this is not good. Nico is gonna move first. Hmm. 
Nice. I still got my ult. I missed it. No. So bad. I missed it. That was actually a very valuable ultimate because all I had to do was just like hit it to slightly different direction. I would have had the Morgana too, for sure. Whatever. Nice push. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go back here. Actually, we're not gonna go back. I'm just gonna grab like one jungle camp so I don't have to sell my Doran's blade. <laughs> no way, man. <laughs> I, I had a good feeling he was going to be top lane. I should, I should have just uh, knock off and jump him. Just block, him, block the Lee with my E. But yeah, I can't cancel my W. I have to use my E for it. Okay, we have the Black Cleaver. So now we have 3000 HP. We have Recurve Bow, which we can still buy into Blade. I don't think I will, though. I think I'm actually going to go into a Sundered Sky. Because uh, this way we get more HP, more damage, more ability haste, and also the effect of it itself. I think we'll go for that. Eclipse also sounds like a lot of fun to build, but it's getting pretty late in the game for it. Oh, we can catch him. I think we still have the ghost available. Oh, never mind. I am impressed, man. The Cassente is holding on to this 1v1, bro. I was actually going to end up winning it. But um, I'm, I'm surprised he's actually getting me this low. Like, okay. He's got so much armor. Like, so it's understandable that he's getting far. But, like, still. I'm impressed, man. I'm greatly impressed. Cassente does a lot of damage still. Despite so much armor, man. Look, look at the, how much armor this guy has. Look. Full components, all armor. Of course, like, I didn't have my R activated on him. If I had it activated early on, I would have certainly had a chance. Like, a bigger chance, I would say. Uh, Dragon is available. So let's actually move there. We'll push this out fast. There you go. They will lose that farm. I'm doing that on purpose. Doesn't seem like a good fight. Maybe I can get more? Hmm. What? What? <laughs> trap after trap. Let's go. <laughs> Infinite traps. I got trapped like four times. Let's go, man. Yeah, that's... I remember making, uh, making a short about Kaylin. Like not too long ago, talking about traps and how broken the ability is. Well, this is this this is the reason why. Okay, this explains it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, let's go into let's go into Warhammer. But yeah, that that's why, guys. That's why Caitlyn uh, Caitlyn trap is so broken. That that that's just basically showing it. Just infinitely getting, uh, getting CC, giving, getting critted by uh, Caitlyn. This is definitely a fight that we are going to be winning.
Oh. No problem, I got this one. No problem. <laughs> I got it. I'll just fly through the map, man. Thank you for that wave. Let's see if we can uh, grab like another wave. No jungle camps anymore, but that's okay. No jungle camps. Okay, we're staying in bot lane for a bit longer because I think that we can maybe get a catch, maybe. Or... Yes, I think I will stay around. I'm not entirely sure if they'll walk up here, but it's very likely they will because they came from bot lane. Yes. Let's actually go one versus two here and uh, grab like two people for free. Oh, they know I'm here actually. Oh, I'm not even using my E for these people. Nice. No E needed for them. Got more jungle camps as well. And we're also getting this wave. We just killed the entire enemy team. Nice. Can I also get red buff? That would be cool. Yes. Yeah, we got this. I love how I can just turn my brain off and, and basically get a Penta. That's just how the champion functions. More jungle camps. I hear jungle camps and I'll take it. I wonder if I can grab... <laughs> I wonder if I can double... Uh, Oh, right. I see. I'm just at least up here. Goodbye, buddy. No problem. Okay, we have the Sundered Sky. Now, the next item we're going to build into... I think it's probably going to be a Steric's Gauge. I actually want to go into... Uh, into... Blade? But I don't think we have to. I think we could do like a final item. Oh man, that Kusente is not going to survive this. I can guarantee you on that. Okay, you can say goodbye, buddy. I will chase you down until you're dead. <laughs> I haven't used a single ability. I'm doing nothing, okay? I'm watching. You can see I'm not using a single ability. I'm not even using Strike Breaker. <laughs> I didn't use my item. I didn't use my combo. I didn't use my, uh, my mouse. Let's go, man. I can just close my eyes and just beat him. That's champion. We can do it again in 15 seconds. This champion is absolutely stupid. Oh, and they instantly surrender the game after, man. Let's go. Hey, either way, this is uh, Briar Top Lane. Thanks so much for watching today's Briar video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.